the fractures because this is topic of my scientific work and so on. But we also do other cases. It's not just the only one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have already around 30 cases on distal tibia. So like an example, I will talk about these fractures. So there are difficult fractures with severe, usually severe soft tissue injuries and the treatment is staged. So admission, x-ray, external fixation for temporary resuscitation of soft tissue and CT is performed. The CT data are sent to guys. They make a holographic model of the fracture and uh, regularly I have it at the same day as I send it in my desktop. I can also rotate it to see video of the fracture, but with help of HoloLens, I can also look to the model of fracture more carefully, enlarge it, rotate it as we did in uh, operating room. I can, in some difficult fractures, I really have to go into the fracture because I enlarge it like a tree stock buildings and go within to, to look where are bone pieces and so on. I think how to reduce it, how to fix it, which approach shall I uh, use. And this is a really interesting task because uh, if we talk about distal tibia, there are several approaches around 360 degrees so i can go from posterior from anterior from medial lateral whatever fracture dictates in uh, distal radius it is not so easy we have just one standard standard palmar approach but for distal again for this sphere we can go in different ways uh, so first stage is preoperative planning with help of HoloLens and actually I have to say that uh, analyzing these initial 30 cases my planning was changed because when I see CT picture on my desktop this is one plan when I see additionally HoloLens this holographic image and I rotate it I in approximately half of patients, I have changed my plant approach and did it a little bit in a different way mm -hmm. after analyzing the fracture morphology. So first stage is completed, another second stage is in operating theater. Uh, so regularly we did it um, already when the hand is draped and it, uh, or leg is draped already and um, sterilized. I have glasses on my hand, I don't have to touch anything to control the position of model, as you see. So I place model into the leg, it took around a few minutes already, not so long now, but it should be faster, of course. When I plan to do incisions, I control the position of the model with the help of X-ray image intensifier, for example. When model is precisely placed uh, within the leg, uh, I mark uh, my intended incisions with a uh, marker. And principally, uh, at this stage, this is what I want from the HoloLens, from our um, project, yes. When I perform surgery, I don't need it anymore at this stage. Probably later, when we will add some anatomical structures, and it will it may help, especially for young surgeons, to avoid some serious anatom dangerous anatomical structures like vessels, nerves, and so on, so on. But at this stage, at this stage, this is quite enough for me. Uh, we did uh, uh, some presentations already on international level. This is an award from European uh, uh, Federation of Orthopedic Societies. It was held in Barcelona this June. Mm -hmm. We had silver medal. Uh, this is second best topic in the field, presentation in the field of trauma surgery. Uh, so this was uh, really nice to get this uh, award. And probably I will show you some slides from my presentation.
distal tibia, severe soft tissue injury, and mm -hmm. process is very dangerous to make huge incision here. So we apply external fixator, wait for a week or a little bit more, decrease swelling and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. and, and in the X fix we have a CT and this is an anatomical um, picture. So you I can approach distal tibia from every side I need mm -hmm. and I choose my approach according to CT data to go as directly to the fracture line as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, the system allows me to mark, to choose incision directly uh, within in the patient's leg and to mark it directly on the skin of the patient. And this is one of examples, a yeah, severe fracture of distal tibia, as I told CT data in the system. This is preoperative planning, mm -hmm. it should rotate, but it will not do it in this presentation. And again, during the surgery, I place model, the holographic model into the leg of patient. I control position with an X-ray, mark my future incision is either pencil or simple by drawing. And yeah, we had 24 patients, now slightly more. Approximately the same numbers on the length of surgery, of complications and so on, but slightly better reduction uh, after preoperative planning. And precision of surgical approaches was also slightly better in the augmented reality group, but uh, you see a small number of patients and it is now too early to say about some strong benefits, more potential benefits, I see. This is one of examples, severe intraarticular distal tibia fracture. Four plates, final redu reduction and pretty good final result. So. That's it. Future direction to add some more anatomy and of course the current uh, issue is to achieve fast and precise positioning of model within the object.